Hey, fish heads, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. Happy New Year. This is the first one that I've done this year officially. I've been doing some stuff on other socials, on Instagram and stuff, and I'm going to probably pull those over as shorts for here. But this is the first official, so we're going to do a shop update today. I've got a lot going on, as usual. Um, some cool stuff going on and some orders going out. If you have an order with me, first and foremost, it is almost out the door. Um, whether it is from this past November on through, uh, I've been running 60 to 90 days right now. I've had two fairly large projects with uh, Bullshad and Catchco that I've had to accomplish. So we are getting your stuff done as we speak. I've got a few more custom orders to go and then we will be through all of that stuff. Um, I am going to probably be switching my website to drop only. Um, instead of selecting customs um, per orders, basically like spray to order. So that's going to eliminate some of the lag time. Basically what I'll do is I'll have patterns like these guys right here, which are currently up on a drop, um, and they are ready to go, ready to ship. I think that's probably going to ease a lot of y'all's minds because I know that I get emails all the time, really love your baits, and we're excited about it, but the 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 lag time, basically, the, the turnaround time can be long. And that's because I have a lot of obligations that I have to fulfill. And I do custom work in the order in, in which I receive that throughout those uh, obligations as, as a pro painter now. So th these are on the website. They are up. I have a limited number. I think I have like six or seven left of them. I did uh, 20 to start. So they're selling pretty well. So this is that spring crawl. I like to add red into my winter and early spring month bait patterns. Um, show you a little bit about what I mean. I like simple patterns. Now these are hot off the presses and I've been goofing around with more chromes. These I really like the chromes on. And then that red into like an almost fluorescent red. Great spring bait. Also the yellow version of that as well. Just a nice fade down chrome on the top. I did do a short on uh, clean lines for stenciling and being able to add a little clip and attach your stencil and just run it across the back and that way there's no there's no smudging and then you can just lift that right off of there. So that is something like what I demonstrated in that. This is how the, uh, the Joe Rainville project turned out. He had given me five of these, four of which were for um, the gathering, which I gave to him in Virginia back in September. The, the gathering for 2022 was in September this year, Swimbait Universe, and uh, it was Swimbait Culture this year. So I was able to get four of those for sale and then my reward was being able to keep one of these gorgeous pieces of maple and that is maple I know it's stained a little bit darker but I wanted a carp pattern and did some hand detailing on this and some really nice mica influenced paint and then about five layers of clear on top of that yes this is KBS I still, on a single piece that I don't have that's jointed like these guys down here or bigger swim baits, I can still dip these. And after five coats, I've got a little flecks of dirt on here. Um, that's just because it was sitting on the desk and I was dressing stuff earlier. Um, but it is nice and thick and rock solid. Listen to that. It sounds so cool. So I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably going to keep it because I have not had one of his walking baits before. And he, if you don't know Joe Rainville, it's Re Real Prey Swim Baits. And because I preach and preach community over competition, yes, um, everybody that is a builder can get featured. Um, because I believe in the small business ethic. We all need to support one another. But just really really great beautiful and I have not personally swam this on the water I've swam it in our test tank and it walks beautifully I'm sure with a further cast it's going to be even more magnificent but just a really good clean bait 
Thank you, Joe, from Real Prey. Go check his website out, Real Prey Swim Baits. And obviously, community over competition. These guys are going to Minnesota to the Mall of America at uh, Carl's Fishing. Their brick and mortar, their second store, the flagship store is in Fort Worth, Texas. So we did some TCU stuff. For them, go TCU, go Georgia. It's very difficult because I have spent so much time in Texas over the years between the Army at Fort Sam Houston, Texas, and in my various careers when I worked on the water, when I worked with Minerals Management Service, and as an environmental consultant for the dredging companies. I spent tons of time on the Texas coast, and I love the Gulf Coast in Texas. Um, I've been in Fort Worth numerous times, and most recently this past summer to open up uh, or to help open the Shop Carls in Fort Worth. But these are for Mall of America, for the Gophers. Uh, so it's their traditional value colors, the maroon down to a beautiful shiny gold. And we have the Goldie Goby, and we also have the Crispy Crappy. So these will be coming to Mall of America so soon. Um, they're shipping this week. So they're all, all done and happy. And these also, in the maroon fading down, outstanding spring color. I think the walleye are going to crush them as much as the lake trout, as much as the burbots will probably get after them. Um, so I did that not just for bass for Minnesota Mall of America. I did that for an overall multi-species, hopefully, function. So going for uh, the gophers and that part of the world up in Minnesota, Mall of America, and just had so much fun. And I don't know if the camera really shows off that gold sheen that's been sprayed over that, but also heavily mica influenced. So thanks again to Ketchco for the opportunities that I continually get from you guys. It is more than an honor to do business with you guys. Um, super happy they treat everybody very well and as a small business person I've had nothing but wonderful things to say about this company also have a couple of extra ones going up almost a brown trout ish but not really this is the Minnesota minnow um, another good color going down so there's four of these and then there's limited numbers of these as well going down. So get them while they're hot. When you make that road trip to Mall of America, which I still need to do, um, hopefully those will be waiting for you in the next week or so when you show up. So thanks again to Tej and Ross and all the guys at Ketchco. I, uh, I would not be where I am right now without your help and support. So thanks so much. I've got a couple other patterns that I wanted to show you guys. Again, spring patterns lots of cool mica e type stuff mica e is that a word it's a fictionary word i think not a dictionary word just a little reverse shad pattern and then on these lipless that long-eared sunfish one of my faves just very pretty i love doing these patterns so that is all the news that's fit to print for you guys today that's all i've got there's going to be some spray sessions coming up shortly i've got a couple of customs on deck from cameron that i want to get underway and spray today and get those done for him by midweek so you're going to be seeing probably one of my trout patterns so you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you on the next video cheers and happy casting from jen at jekyll baits